Hello everyone, this is Santesh Kalada from Taskify Labs and today in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to install FFmpeg on your NA10 instance. First of all, what exactly is FFmpeg? FFmpeg is a free open source cross-platform multimedia toolkit used to record, convert, compress and stream audio and video. Basically, what it does is a free solution to edit video. So you can trim, you can merge, you can compress, resize, re-encoding, any sort of stuff you do any sort you can do okay so that is what basically is ffmpeg and it is one of the very few tools that has an integration with any not direct integration but it is something that can be directly integrated into any this will save you save you a lot of cost if you're editing videos on the fly and if you're using external apis i'll tell you a personal instance where i'm using ffmpeg uh, i have a channel where i post about a news so what i do is like i scrap a related trending videos then what i do is i download the videos then use ffmpeg to add my logo to the video and then publish it in different social media channels so i am not using any external api so i'm using ffmpeg to edit the video inside my na10 workflow and then publish it okay so that's a practical application of FFmpeg. So before I start, see, I have actually prepared a PDF guide for this. This guide is available in my school community. You can join the community and get it. Or if you do not want to handle this technical stuff, you can just hire me and I'll set up everything for you and create any automations you want. So yeah, that is basically about it. Now let's get started. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using hosting app, but again, this method can be adjusted to work with others as well. But if you are using self-hosted instance, I would always recommend going with hosting app because I have been using it for quite some time and it's quite amazing. It's really good. And it does not need, we does not need to do any technical integration and all those stuff. So yeah, if you already have a hosting account, log into your hosting account and First, I'll go to manage app. I'll open a workflow and show you something. In fact, yeah, I have a workflow here. So what I'll do is I'll just run this. See, I have added an execute command node and I'll try execute this. And I'll just test X. See, command failed FFmpeg version not found. Basically, we are expecting this error because we haven't installed FFmpeg. Now what I'll do is I'll just go to my terminal. And I'll follow this guide. Okay. So go to terminal and it should be in the root directory which has docker.compose.yml. If not, make sure that you're going to the directory which contains this file. In our case, it should be in the root. So I'll just type lslc. Yeah, see, docker compose is already here. So that works. Now the next step would be to create a docker file. I'll just copy this. And see, copying and pasting, please make sure that inside the terminal, control C, control V won't work. So make sure that you right click and paste. So it has opened in a new tab. And now here are the contents for that new file. I'll just copy. In fact, let me just make it look good. Remove all the unwanted spaces. Yeah. So I just pasted it here. So everything looks good. Now what I'll do is I'll just press control X. Now it is asking me to save modified buffer. So I'll click on yes and enter once more. So that part is done. Now we need to edit our Docker compose file. Copy this command and here again, paste it. Yes, looks good, looks good. So yeah, now what do we need to do? Now what we need to do is, see, change the line in NA10, from in NA10, this image to build and dot. And see, in most cases, if you're using normal NA10 installation, you won't have this part, so you can ignore this. In my case, I'm using NA10 Q mode, so I'll have a worker. So I'll have to make modifications here as well as here, but in your case, in most of your case, it would be just an it and you won't have a worker. So this is the part which I need to delete. So what I'll do is I'll bring it down and I'll just remove this image and I'll type build dot. Looks good. 
now here also this i'll change it into build dot i'm not sure about this color difference okay i added an unwanted space that is why the syntax was wrong so i'll just delete this part so see here i added it removed that image and added it as built now everything looks good i'll just type control x save it so that part is done i have made the changes both to n8n and n8n worker and yeah i've done this one as well now what i'll do is i'll just stop all the containers i'll just stop it here so as you can see it is stopping all the containers and the next step would be rebuilding it using this particular command so with this it should be done uh, let's wait for it to finish yeah everything is removed now what i'll do is i'll just type. now as you can see it is getting installed and my n8 n instance also got restarted but it will take maybe two or three minutes to see the effects of this one so let's wait for that now i am guessing that the installation should have finished because i have waited five minutes now what i'll do is i'll just go to my instance once again see my n8 instance and i have the command here i'll try executing it now now see here once i execute this i am actually getting it i am actually getting a proper output this means that ffmpeg is installed successfully now as you can see ffmpeg is installed properly and now let me just quickly show you an example of creating an uh, video using ffmpeg so what I'll do is I'll go to maybe open router. See open router is something that I'm using to talk to different LLM models. So I'll add cloud. And I, I'll, I want, what I'll do is I'll just create a five second video. Five second video with blue color. Okay. With blue color. So this is just for testing purpose. So what I'll do is I'll, let me just command I give give a command for getting that i have a n8 and workflow and in this workflow i have ffmpeg also installed i am trying to create a video using the execute command node so ffmpeg is already installed so i want to create a five second video which has a blue color background in it so give me the command ffmpeg command for that which i can add to my execute command node in my n8 so as we can see i just spoke this i just spoke this and it got converted into text so i'm using something known as whisper flow okay so if you have the budget i think it's hardly some ten dollars per month if you have the budget please 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 give it a try your productivity will increase like anything in fact i'll also give a link to this in the description of this video so if you sign up using that link you will get free one month of trial one month with unlimited words so please give it a try anyway coming back i'll just submit this and let's wait for the results perfect it has actually given us the command now what i'll do is i'll just go to this node type the command and execute that so i did execute that and let me just quickly see where is output so actually this is telling me that the command got executed properly now let us try downloading this file it should be in this directory so instead of that read yeah read files read files from the disk and this is the location which we gave in the command earlier right so i executed that now see here the video is here and i'll click on view now see here a five second video with a blue background see this is just an example just for the sake of an example i created that video 
but again you can create different different types of videos just you just need to give your idea i recommend giving your idea to claude and ask it to generate the ffmpeg command for that and it will generate the command so yeah this is basically how you integrate ffmpeg with your n810 installation so i hope all of you understood this and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below and thank you guys thank you for your time